The Prince and Princess of Wales paid a working visit to Windsor Foodshare. They saw with their own eyes how the organization provides food for families and lonely people who need such help, and there are quite a few of them. The city may be relatively prosperous, but the royal couple was told that the rising cost of living has led to a dramatic increase in workload for Windsor Foodshare itself. In 2022, the charity helped feed more than 7,000 local residents, an 18% increase over the previous year. That's about 150 people a week receiving food parcels from the organization. Kate looked very elegant in her 299-pound fuchsia tilde coat from Hobbs London, a Hobbs turtleneck of the same color and black pants. Her makeup included tint, smoky eyeshadow, blush and mascara. Her hair is loosely parted. Simple but tasteful. They were happy to help the workers assemble food kits for the needy, consisting of the most necessary products. Bread, eggs, cereals, canned goods, fresh fruits and vegetables. The kits also included toiletries. The Prince of Wales playfully teased his wife for talking too much. And they jokingly bickered about which of them was better at trapping food parcels. They did well. One of them was better than the other, but I won't say who, later joked Sarah Kemmer, manager of Windsor Foodshare. They genuinely wanted to participate. They wanted to be helpful, not just come and see what we were doing. They asked, can we get involved and do something to help? And they helped. I was happy to have more pairs of hands to work with today. Also, they were so friendly. And we found them so open and reassuring. They were comfortable in everything they did. They're such a beautiful couple. And she added, it's a good thing we invited the men if I ever don't have volunteers, I know where to go for them. Kate and William have long been involved in campaigns to combat a range of social problems, from addiction and violence to family breakdown and overcoming poverty. The couple has promised Sarah Kemmer to be sure to return to her in the future.